Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost Maths key skill video on simplifying a factorised algebraic fraction. Now let's think how we simplify normal fractions. If we had 6 over 8, how would we simplify that? We would look for a common factor, so what do 6 and 8 have in common? They have a factor of 2 in common. We divide the numerator and denominator by 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So hopefully you already know how to simplify a normal fraction. Now with algebraic fractions, the method you use is to firstly factorise where possible and secondly divide by any common factors. Like Just like we divide by 2 because that was a common factor, you divide by any common factors. In this case they're going to be algebraic common factors. So if we look at A, we've got 4x minus 7, 5x minus 7 over 8x, 4x minus 7. Now in this particular case, it's already been factorised for you. As per the title, these have already been factorised for you. In later videos, we'll have to do the factorisation ourselves. And then you divide by whatever's common. What's common to the top and bottom? Well, out of these two things you're timesing together, these factors, you've got 4x minus 7 at the top and in the denominator as well. So we could divide the top and the bottom by 4x minus 7. Because remember, we can only simplify fractions by dividing, not by subtracting. Now, I wouldn't usually write this at the side, but it's just to illustrate what I'm doing. So when you divide by this 4x minus 7, you can effectively cross it out. Because if this has been times by 4x minus 7, and then you're dividing by 4x minus 7, the times by and the divide by, that same thing cancel each other out. And you can do the same at the bottom. If you've got 8x multiplied by 4x minus 7, and then divided by it, it just gets rid of it. So then we're just left with the 5x minus 7, and I don't need brackets around it anymore because there's nothing around the 5x minus 7, over 8x, and that's the final answer. And then the second one, 2x brackets x plus 4 over x plus 4. Now, what can we divide the top and the bottom by? Well, there's x plus 4 at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to divide the top by x plus 4, so I can just cross it out. Now, you have to be careful at the bottom. When you divide the bottom by x plus 4, well, if I asked you, what's 10 divided by 10? Well, it's 1. What's 5 divided by 5? It's 1. What's x plus 4 divided by x plus 4? It's 1. So when you cross it out, you don't get 0, you get 1 left. And then, what's 2x divided by 1? Anything divided by 1, it's just itself. So you've just got the 2x. And that's the final answer. Just to talk about this kind of crossing out of things, you just have to be slightly careful. Because if I had, for example, x plus 4 over x plus 3, you might think, oh, I can just cross out those x's and I'm left with 4 over 3. Absolutely not, because when you cross out the x here, you're not actually dividing by x, you're subtracting x. So this fraction here doesn't actually simplify, because there's nothing you can divide the top and the bottom by. There's nothing you can factorise out each of these that you can then divide by.